She says, if a person dies without never ever hearing about Islam, will the person go to hell? Okay. And there are those who did not learn nor understand the message of Islam and they died as a Muslims. Amongst them, those are clueless. For example, that person lives on an island and has no idea whatsoever about Islam. Or it can be someone who lives in New York, and I personally saw an interview of someone who was asked about Islam. Do you know what's Islam, sir? He's like, what? And he felt completely out of the whole world, never heard anything about Islam. Number two, people had a corrupted understanding. So they went to an anti-Islamic website, heard a hater or an ignorant person who said Islam is about killing innocent people, etc. So that person believed that horrible message and they feared any Muslim, let alone convert to Islam. And there's last group, let us see, we have the minimal understanding. For example, a Muslim youth group goes to a homeless shelter and they pass around some food and one of the homeless men over there asks that youth, why are you doing this? And that Muslim youth says, I am a Muslim and Islam teaches me to give those and help those who are in need. So all what that homeless man knows is that Islam helps those in need. So that all what he knows. Now with this being said, is Paul Walker, Nelson Mandela, etc. going to Jahannam? Now, had they, Allahu A'lam, fall into the second category, then the ulama have said a lot about them. For example, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Al-Qayyim, Al-Ajna Al-Da'ima, and many, many other ulama, they said, we cannot confirm whether they're going to go to Jannah or Jahannam. Rather, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Hakam, the judge, will give a very fair test to them. Had they passed, they go to Jannah. Had they failed, they go to Jahannam. And the proof that they used in Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, verse 15, where Allah said, وَمَا كُنَّا مُعَذِّبِينَ حَتَّى نَبْعَثَ رَسُولًا And we would never punish. We would never punish someone until that person fully understood and learned that message. Is it clear? So therefore, is it possible that you go to Jannah? Had they fall into that second category and they pass a test, then you never know. You might find Paul Walker driving in Jannah. Allahu A'lam. Is it clear? We will never go into punish nor obviously hold any person accountable unless if we send to them, to him, a messenger. Not necessarily by sending to each person a messenger, but to a nation. And not necessarily to every single nation, because for instance, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he pointed to his message as saying, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ we have not sent you but as mercy for everything that exists. So it is not for a particular nation, time, place, or era. No. For every person. Until the day of judgment. Then by conveying the message of the Prophet ﷺ to somebody, it is exactly the same as if this person have heard from the Prophet ﷺ. Every Muslim is the messenger of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa Every Muslim should be a missionary, has a mission of delivering whatever he knows about the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa So when the recipients, the invitees hear about him, and they hear about him, and about the oneness of Allah, and they willingly choose not to believe, then they're responsible. There's no way that Allah is going to punish any person without knowing why. Without knowing who is Allah and who is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa by analogy to one who did not hear at all about belief, the oneness of Allah or Allah or Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa a person who heard but only heard negative things. A person who doesn't know anything about Islam but these guys are terrorists. A person since he was born he's sitting before Fox News. Doesn't know anything about Islam but evil. He's brainwashed and he didn't have a chance because he did not know. But if a person chose not to know, he heard about it and he chose not to know, this is a different issue. I'm talking about one who did not hear about Islam entirely or he has been misinformed and frightened. He did not have a chance to take a glimpse over belief or the oneness of Allah and the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Because for your informations and through my experience, I meet Tens, maybe hundreds of people right and left, wherever I go, even after September the 11th, they accept Islam on their own simply by reading the Quran or reading some of the statements of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa without even dialoguing with them. 
without having to give him da'wah. So a person who did not have a chance whatsoever, then their case will be judged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. I mean they will be tried. Yani they will not be just saved and go to heaven like that. No, life is a test. If you are not tested in this life because he did not know al bil jahl the benefit of doubt, or you have been informed negatively or misinformed, in this case the test will be held on the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test them as some of the hadith uh, explain. And in this case, uh, if they pass the test, they will be saved. If they fail, they will be, uh, they will be of course, eligible or deserve to enter the farfel and receive the proper punishment, of course. In the hadith which is collected by Imam Muslim, it's a sound hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, وَالَّذِي nafsi biyadihi." I swear to Allah in whose hand is my soul. There will not be a single Yahudi or Nasrani, a Jew or a Christian who would hear of me, know about me properly, of course, and of my message, then still insist on not believing in me and following me, but illa kana min ahlin nar. But he will be among the dwellers of fire. Isn't this uh, harsh? Yeah, but it is in proportion with the sin. The greatest sin is disbelief. Now, I would like to confront everyone. Why are we holding those sessions and these episodes and we're, we're spending time and effort and money here? Simply to notify every person with one fact. Allah is one and Muhammad sallallahu is his messenger. And there will be a day of judgment, a day of reckoning to inform people about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and about his oneness without forcing or frightening anyone to accept Islam. Rather, فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ Let whomever, whoever wants to believe, let him believe. And let whoever chooses to disbelieve, disbelieve. It's your call. But, وَلَا تَكْسِبُ نَفْسٌ إِلَّا عَلَيْهَا Every soul, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ إِلَّا عَلَيْهَا Every person will be responsible for their choice. What is the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ It is pertaining the oneness of Allah, His Lordship, and the unity of worship. Allah is one. He begets not, nor was He begotten. And no one is ever equivalent to Him. He did not have any children. No one looks like Him. No one shares any with the, of, the, of His traits with Him. So you believe in that this is a message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You reject it, then you deserve to be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is not something that we impose on you. It is definitely your call. وَهَدَيْنَاهُ النَّجْدَيْنِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed every person or most people the two ways, the good and the bad. And it is your choice, of course.